Hello, I am Ronan and Moog, and I'm going to show you a screencast of reading OpenXML documents contents into SAP. As you can see, we have a list of documents, in this case, DocX documents or Word, Word documents, and I'm going to read all these documents into SAP and take contents of data from these documents. Let's take a few documents from the server, move it to the desktop and see their data. I'm copying the documents to the desktop and then I will edit this, some of these documents on the desktop. These are the documents on the desktop. We'll take these documents, for example, I'm going to change here the data inside some cells to see the data after that, that it was, it was changed during the process. Let's put some text here and here. and save the document. Let's take another one. Change the price to 999 and 777. Again. So we can know we have changed this document. And the last one, let's change the for today and change it and we save it. <coughs> now I'm going again to the server and copy all these documents back to the origin directory. I have copied the documents into the origin docu directory on the web application server of SAP. Now let's go to SAP GUI and I will run the program. This program will read the documents from this path, as you can see, it's the path of the origin directory where the documents are placed. Let's go back and as, as you can see, the, the files are not locals, they are on the web application server. I will run the program and let's see what's happened. It will take some time and it's finished. Let's see what's happened. What we can see is the purchasing document, <coughs> the same as the files numbers or the files names. The files names contained of the 
purchase order document number and we see for every purchase document there are its items and its data. Now I can see it better. <clears throat> when I group it in by purchasing document and I can see for example let's look for one of the files we've changed or the numbers like 39 or it's simple to, to search for it we see here <coughs> some of the remarks I put in order to see the data changed so the data that was changed was, was read into SAP. That's mean we used the OpenX, OpenXML document as a container for, uh, for data. We see here, we see here the remarks in here and in here. This is the net order that we put <coughs> and as you can see with this one we have two lines on uh, 45 this is 45 we check it We have two lines, we have this remark we put and net price 9 something and 7 something. Let's go back to SAP, it's the same 9 and 7 and uh, <clears throat> that's what happened when we use OpenXML documents as interactive documents. This is for today. Thank you very much.